Throw gang, we are joined by the tagging titan, the video viking, must be a Jamaican loner because he's solo, man. His honor of the handheld, the frame pharaoh, call him Kyle Rittenhouse, how he's shooting these skaters. Got all these spots like 101 Dalmatians. Must have linked with Bin Laden, how he's bombing downtown. Chasing those brand checks, that's that rack focus. Call him King Solomon, how he's splitting his babe. Going fajito mode because the sizzle's a wrap. Iraq fathered whole style, so he's the Baghdad. Oh, you don't like graffiti? How about you graffit these nuts in your mouth? Filmmaker and artist Ben Solomon. Ben, how the hell are you? I'm I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> all I'm, hail the king, bitch! Yeah. Bow down. <laughs> I'm 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 taking it all in. No Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> this is topical. Did you ever film? Dog? You ever film Diddy? I read a copy of Earl, the autobiography written by DMX right, that yeah. was personally inscribed from DMX, given to Puffy in. The bat in, in Puffy's like side office, the one that you're allowed to like wait in <laughs> while um while working on a uh -oh. quotes. Uh, no, it was like a, it was like a doc about Sean John. It was the year that, that you know they won like CFDA, yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it was leading up to that, or it was the year after. And I was I was uh not you in very filming? presentable like shape okay. and it, no i mean i was much younger i wasn't like i wasn't the director and right. so I, I, my role in the end was sort of like ah post up in the side office with the gear and like maybe i was like d swapping cards out or something you were, you were a grip so for I, the I, casting couch yeah yeah, yeah. exactly make I, sure I, the video cameras in the bathroom are running yeah yeah, yeah exactly uh so i used that time to read wow e dot a dot r dot l yeah. by earl simmons i think that's on my nightstand actually I, hey you it's know. for real. It's for real. My bookshelf. I have it. <laughs> right, incredible. Yeah. Where my dog's at. I like it. I like it. Stop um, being greedy. And then I have, yeah, I've, I've had some, I've had some, <laughs> some, some, some run-ins, some puffy encounters, you ever but see some nothing. freaky shit. No, no. I okay. mean, you know, I, he kept it kosher in front of it. You knew that, uh, <laughs> yeah. this man here, the King of the Jews runs Hollywood. So he kept it kosher in front of you. <laughs> I yeah. Don't, I don't, I don't know what that the guy's running. The only man more powerful than puff dude, yeah. Ben Solomon. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Maybe now. Yeah, maybe, now you are. Now maybe you are. whatever yeah. the date is now that he's um, crumbled. But where is he? You know, horrible criminal yes. acts aside. <laughs> Bozo of oh, the year? No. Go. Oh. oh, okay. Like top five. You still listen to his music? I'm, um, again, <laughs> this gets really tricky when all these horrible things come out. But. But we're G separating Depp, the art from the I artist. Am, uh, G Depp is an eternal I'm, fucking banger. You know, I'm a I'm a puffy uh <laughs> Apologist? I don't want to say loyalist <laughs> because that sounds a little crazy, but like up until you know very recently, yeah, okay. I, I would uh sing sing the praises right. of, of Sean Puffy Combs. Right. Um, Separate the art from the rapist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now that that's out of the way, <laughs> what up, Ben? Happy to have you, dog. I thought we were gonna work up to things <laughs> no. like separate oh, the art no. from the rapist. I didn't know we were starting there. Ben, is streetwear dead? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> speaking of streetwear, well, I feel like you came through wearing some streetwear yourself today, Ben. Let's do a little fit check, dog. You want to start top down or bottom up? There is a correct answer. Um, I mean, you know, the head is where where it begins. You gotta mm. go, you gotta go. You're a police officer. Big brain shit. <laughs> no, a police officer. Yeah, oh, top, uh, top down is a cop. That's how we kind of approach it on this. Uh, it's the bit that won't die. Yeah. All right. I don't. It went over my head. So. It, well, Literally, we can start with the head if you want. Start with the chapeau. Wait, does it really? We got to do this? All right. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> is this, is this why you've been like dodging us for yeah, so many I years? I got to talk about my clothes. <laughs> yeah, just go fast. Quick. Rapid fire. What's the hat ski? Yeah. The hat <laughs> is a Konya Scotsy um, six panel hat by okay. Supreme, oh. of course. Um, Konya Scotsy. One, crazy life. Two, life in turmoil. <laughs> Three, life out of balance. Four, life disintegrating. Five, a state of life that calls for another way of living. Incredible film. I know you told me you wanted to talk about films a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that concept, you know, speaks uh, to, to all walks of life on a daily. So this is definitely like a regular. That's your like daily everyday. mantra. Yeah, kind of. That's like a uniform. Yeah. You are wearing a lot of words. Uniform hat. <laughs> yeah. So in. Is that what street wears? Just clothes with words on yes, them? Yes. And. <laughs> It becomes like an equation. Everything in life is an equation, right? Yep, yep. Everything in art, getting dressed, whatever it is, yep. right? Abstract mathematics. Yep. And yeah, how many words and what the words are, it's a very difficult... Um, it's a very difficult uh, balance to strike. So and yet, maybe too many words. That's why I'm not actually <laughs> wearing the hat. I just kind of put it right. there. But you just like read it to point. everybody. You guys asked me what, where it started. Well, you yeah. can't cover this cabbage. I mean, your, your hair's magnificent, bro. If you're over 35 
male, male identifying and mm-hmm. have a full, beautiful head of hair, you have to rep. Let it and ring. you have to like literally rub the faces of your balding yeah. friends and haters yeah. alike. Yeah. In the beautiful hair that you're holding down, so absolutely. I, I, if it, if it was up to me, I would wear a hat all the time. But it's like my God given duty. Know. Sure, of course. To to rap, yeah. it was beautiful to see you put product into right before we started filming. You're not supposed to reveal that part. <laughs> right, it's like the like, yeah, d- you know. But you know, listen. He listen. went there. All right, like, uh, do you want to start with what you're wearing or like everything else? Because like again, you're wearing you wore a lot of clothes. Bro. Where are we going? What are it's we a, it's that fucked up season. It's yeah. like, can't wait till it's warm out so I can really stop dressing or yeah. what, the inverse, whatever it is. So, right. <laughs> Time um, to get naked, bitch. Yeah, you know. I got, What's the tea? The tea is Believer by Choice. Uh, what does the bottom say? Good by Nature. Nice. Mm. Um, with the a back little, some... like, Quran. Oh, yeah. Quran wisdom <laughs> on the back. There is there is a, a um, whole verse from the Quran on yeah. the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Happy we Ramadan to yeah. everyone out there. Yeah, for real. Ramadan Mubarak or We're whatever. still there. Right? It, it's a long so. holiday. It's a, month, it's a long. month long, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jews have long holidays and, you know, they they go harder. <laughs> they do go harder. Celebrate Purim? Uh, this year I did not celebrate Purim. Okay. Purim is a, uh, is a tricky one. It's a big drinking holiday, right? It's definitely a big drinking holiday. It's a blackout drinking holiday. Mm. And also, you know, it, it has a, it has like... Jews go hard on Purim. <laughs> they were too and then hard, some arguably. Jews go way too hard on Purim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it becomes a little like, Meh, guys. Yeah. You gotta, you no gotta, blackface. I saw some questionable costumes <laughs> yeah. on and, Instagram. Yeah. And then and then there's also the inverse of that, which is like it also is is like uh sort of like uh Jews in space voyeur <laughs> opportunity for people that are like, yo, let's go to Lee Ave, like on Purim. These people are fucking crazy. Yeah. And it's like, yo, they're you know, it's, a, it's a two way street of, sure. of right. you know, of, of uh, the the of voyeurism, the the Hasidim are fucking moshing out to Kodak Black, bro. Like, go we gotta go look. Well, he, you know, Kodak he Black is Jewish. He is, Jewish. Yeah. He is a Bill chosen Israel. person. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Unfortunately, like most, you know, like devout Jews, he also like he he loves Trump. Yep, his, <laughs> some he, questionable like, politics. Lost his, you know, yeah, <laughs> matches the fit to his fucking microwave meal or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes his uh, toilet bowl cleaner, etc. Exactly. All right, what else? What else are you wearing up top? A lot of um, layers. You layered up. What else do I got? Uh, I don't know. A sweater. Lou Dallas sweatshirt. Okay. Young young designers. Ooh, Shout out to them. Putting on Youngs. Um, and what else did I wear? Whatever's there's over another there. shirt. There. There's another shirt. Yeah. What's oh, this bad that's boy? a nice d- double RL. Ooh, thick. Who, who Speaking of Jews, shout believe, out Mr. Uh, you know. Yes. Nice, bro. And then what it's was a good the one? Were you wearing a vest too? I think. I was wearing a vest. Oh my Dang. god. <laughs> Little Stone Island vest. Okay. Shout out, the, the, shout out to the sponsors. Get the badge in. You are you badge on or badge off? Uh, I kept the badge on that because it's like low key because it's a vest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the arm, yeah. Where's the where's Fuck the badge I go badge off. off? Yeah, I go badge off. But uh, where do they but, put the badge on a sleeveless garment? Exactly. <laughs> well, they figure it out. <laughs> yeah. They figure it out. They have out. a whole team of engineers yeah. in the lab figuring this That's shit out. That's a job. Actually, yeah. the one the one real job yeah. I applied for in the past three years was badge, <laughs> badge placement <laughs> engineer, badge guy. Um, but um, yeah, I'm badge off. I you know I don't I, respect. I, you know I'm from New York. I'm new, admittedly. New to the Stony, okay. like all good. Cu- couple years, you know, and uh, I, I, I salute the badge off badge maneuver. Off. Some people think that's like uh, you know trying to like being too cool for school or whatever, but I appreciate. The I think badge it depends off. on the garment. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I feel like I, you know, yeah, too cool for school is it's not, a, not a bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I have name, a really bro. long name. <laughs> um, what and the then the jeans are some old Levi's, and I'm I'm glad we're here because I know that pants are like a very pants pants are pants. a hot topic. I What's think your number? Like, are they five fifties? They're five oh ones. Oh, the problem with denim, the the let's mm-hmm. actually separate the the jeans from the pants <laughs> okay. dialogue right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah. completely. Let's talk denim. Okay, so <laughs> Levi's obviously basically doesn't make, you know readily available good jeans anymore like their new right? one their yeah, new yeah. like yeah like the 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 run of the mill accessible like oh i need a pair of levis is you're like you know it's not really denim right. let me go to the, the vintage stretch. store yeah yes but then the 501 fit it varies right sure. there's years and and i'm not like a denimologist guy i'm not you know and it becomes <laughs> this crazy shit where you're like 
oh, I got this pair of 501s and they're perfect. And I don't know where I got them and I don't know what year they're from. And I know, and then, you know, so it's sort of in the infinite pursuit of like the same thing. <laughs> but that's kind of joyful now, like the hunt. Yeah, but it's frustrating because at the Andy, end of the yeah. day, a pair of jeans is like the staple, right? It's like your Yankee hat. Right. It's, your, it's like it, you need a pair of jeans, right? And so is this your one? Yeah, but they're like we're going into repairs and then um, more repairs I and see. then and it becomes it becomes kind of tedious. And then I, I I spent, you know, I spent some time earlier this year like on a like okay need new jeans and it's like a really. It's an arduous process. It's bro. an arduous process, and it's often extremely. Not only is it not rewarding, it literally <laughs> ends with nothing. It's about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> but dog. It, yeah, eh, <laughs> it's I don't Sisyphus. Know. Yeah, and but I jeans. You know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm pushing these jeans. You up haven't the ventured hill. outside of Levi's, like Levi's I have, vintage. But at the end of the day, it, what it about comes Supreme? Back People love Supreme jeans. Yeah, great denim, in my opinion. Um, I, I can't remember the last pair of Supreme jeans I had. I have had them. I, you know. It's not. It's not, not my go-to. All right. Um, 